everyone welcome to our channel knowledge hub friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we're going to start with your quantitative aptitude class and that is also an important one in terms of it if i'm talking about in terms of competition wise so yes that is important and in terms of it we had discussed 30th class of quantitative aptitude this is your 31st class of the quantitative aptitude here and here that is uh, the arithmetical ability we had done and we had started with the first uh, sections of quantitative aptitude and where we had completed your operations on numbers lcm and scf of numbers decimal fraction and this um, simplification that is the fourth topic this is the fifth topic which we have to cover up is your square roots and cube roots in this type of a question this is the first class for this you can just go ahead and uh, you will find it out each and every video there in the playlist and as i told you this has been the 31th class of the sessions as well before starting with this it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through with the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even you can also enjoy the video as well in talking about there are some important facts and formulas that you have to know very carefully and that is even though important so that will discuss first one by one important facts and formula so for the important facts and formulas that we have to discuss here and uh, which is first we start discussing about the square root what is the square root here because uh, the chapter you have to know very well about it so in terms of square root here uh, that we have to get, go ahead so in, in the terms of square root uh, if x square equals to y so we say that that the square root of y is x we write that under root y equals to x here thus we can say that like under root 4 equals to 2 or under root 9 equals to 3 or under root 196 is equals to 14 so these were the square roots here that has been representing now talking about the second one which we have is as follows like that is your cube root and even though which we know very well that after the square root we have will talk about the cube root here and that is your cube root in terms of cube root here that the cube root of a given number x is this number and whose a cube is x we denote the cube root of x by under root uh, like under root a cube x here that we denote it so for that we can say we can have an example like 8 cars like we find it out for the cube root so it will be representing like 2 into 2 into 2 so that is a cube root of 8 and which is we find out as the 2 is uh, 2 cube is equals to 8 here or we can say that taking in another example that is of cube of 3 43 so that will be representing in the form of cube 7 into 7 into 7 7 is the 40 and 49 7 is 343 so which say that key 343 for your cube that is your 7 here or etc is as follows so there are some notes that you have to get to know about it and so that is important and that we even use uh, in the during the questions that we do uh, deal with it so the uh, notes we have as follows there are the two notes i will just tell you about it that you can finally you know got to know about first rules we have the note we can go ahead so the first note is under root xy is equals to under root x multiply under root y the another we have the second one that is under root x upon y equals to under root x upon under root y that we have which is further equals to under root x under root y into under root y upon under root y which is equals to under root x y upon y so here you can see that under root agar yaha pe dobo multiply hoga to first of all it will give you x y but this is the same so here under root will remove because the twice the square of the square you know uh, when we are removing it out we'll find it out the value that is uh, without the under root here as you can see here these were the two rules that you have to you know these were the two notes you can say that you have to consider about it and uh, knowing these things then only you can uh, you are able to solve it out now we'll go ahead with the, without wasting any time we'll, we'll start discussing about the question here so the first question of the sessions that we have to hear the question is evaluate under root 6084 
by factorization method so they have mentioned you the method as well you are not going to solve by your own side you have to see what man method they had mentioned you and according to that you have to deal with it so the question is evaluate under root six zero so that is your six zero eight four by factorization method so that we have to talk about it so on the same cases the method will, uh, that express the given number as a product of prime factors now take the product of these prime factors choosing one out of every pair of the same primes and this product gives us square roots of the given number here by resolving the 6084 into a prime factor we'll just do it and so that we'll get to know about it 6084 so 2 3s are 6 0 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 and 2 2s are 4 then again we have uh, 2 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 2 2s are 4 2 1s are 2 then again 3 uh, 3 5s are 15 then 0 3 7s are 21 again we have 3 so that is 3 1s are 3 we have to uh, 0 20 so 3 6 and then we have 3 9 the 27 then again we have 13 13 13 is the as your 170 uh, 169 here so for that uh, resolving 6 0 8 4 into prime factors we will get 6 0 8 4 equals to 2 key power 2 3 key power 2 and 13 so 2 power 2 into 3 power 2 into 13 power square that we have here so what we get under root uh, here 6084 is equals to 2 here take this 3 this and yes 13 either say so that we have 2 3 is a 6 and 6 13 is a is yes, 16 13 6 is 78 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead with another new question and that is the another question that we have to deal with it that is the second question of the sessions the question is find the square root of 1471369 so we'll do that find the square roots of 1471369 so here for that uh, in a given number that mark of the digits in the pair that we are starting from the unit digit here and uh, then each pair of the remaining one digit is called a period here so that will take it out so we will do it uh, you know here uh, on our same pace so that we will get to know about it so that we have So that we have here the number is your one four seven one three six nine so this pair this pair and this pair this has been the unit here so one square is of course is one only so we'll take as one and here itself one so that will be cancel it out and 47 will be coming it out here so one plus one is two and we'll take as two here as well so two twos are is your that will multiply it to two twos are uh, two twos are four and two uh, twos are four as well so that is between 70 47 here then after that we'll take at uh, that uh, we will sorry this is 44 so 7 by 4 here is 3 we'll take out 13 here then after that uh, this is 2 2 4 and 2 so 2 and 4 here and then we will take as 1 here so it will be 1 1 4 and 2 so we'll just cancel it out we will be getting 7 2 and we'll take it 69 down mm -hmm. after that we have here is uh, that we are uh, dealing with it so it will be 2 4 yeah, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 then 3 will take it so 3 here as well 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 and 3 uh, 4 is a 12 so 2 yeah, 1 carry 3 uh, 2 is a 6 plus 1 7 so 7 2 6 9 will get we cancel it out as well so it will be 
giving you like that so here uh, for that one square is one and on subtracting we get zero as remainder so now bring down the next two uh, digit we have taken out that is a 47 here and on the same cases uh, and now trial divisor by one into two and then trial divided by the 47 that will get take 22 as a divisor put uh, two as a quotient and the remainder is three we bring down the next two which uh, is your 13 and then trial divisor by 12 into 2 which is 24 and trial divided uh, as your 313 so we can take uh, 241 as divided and 1 uh, as the question and the remainder is 72 then after that what we'll take is bring down the next uh, 2 that is your uh, next period that is your 69 then the trial divisor is 121 into 2 so that is 242 and then trial divided uh, that is 7269 here and uh, we take as 3 quotient and 2 4 uh, that is 2 3 that's divisor the remainder as we get so we'll get the answer here is in the form then 1471369 which is equals to 1 2 1 3 here that will get as an answer here now we will be going ahead with another new question and that is also an important one and on the same cases uh, we will be going ahead with the third question of the sessions as well and uh, for solving these type of a question as i told you you have to uh, practice well in a manner so that you will get to know about it the third question of the session is yours that is to evaluate is 248 plus under root 51 plus under root 169 that we have so here in the same cases given expressions we have here as you can see this has been the 248 under root 551 plus under root 169 that we have so uh, uh, same cases will uh, solve it out for this as well so uh, 248 and if we remove the 13 this and 169 just like you know 169 jo hai, wo 13 ka square root hai. so we can write it down ki like uh, 248 and then of course uh, the plus sign and then under root uh, this 51 plus yeah under root open kar diya hai, that is 13 so 51 plus 13 here yeah. 51 plus 13 is 64 so we can see that it will be like 248 plus 51 plus 13 is 64 under root 64 under root 64 you know very well that is the 8 8 is the 64 so 248 plus uh, that is your 8 then after that 248 mein hum, uh, jab 8 uh, plus karenge, we'll get under root 256 and 256 you also know that is the square root of 16 so we'll get the answer that is your 16 here so is tarah se hum ek ek step karte karte aage badhenge so that you will get to know about that ki kya hamara jo hai you know solution hai and according to that we have to find out you have to be very you know uh, that is your you have to be very familiar with the question and when you want to be familiar with the question uh, th this is only possible when you are you know solving more and more questions here now we we'll go ahead with another question that is the fourth question of the sessions here and that is also an important one so here if a abstract b abstract c equals to under root a plus 2 and b plus 3 whole upon c plus 1 so then you have to find the value for 6 abstract 15 abstract 3 here that we have so for that we have to solve it out as well 6 abstract 15 abstract 3 equals to under root 6 plus 2 15 plus 3 whole upon 3 plus 1 is equals to 6 plus 2 is 8 plus um, that is your abstract here that is multiply 15 plus 3 is 18 whole upon 4 so 18 8 sa is your 144 whole upon 4 144 hume pata hai square root kiska hai 12 ka 12 upon 4 so here that is 4 ones are 4 4 threes are 12 the answer we will get is 3 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead with the fifth question of the session that we have to talk about it even though that is also an important one here 
so we'll talk about the fifth question of this session and that we have here the question is find the value of under root 1 9 upon 16 so we'll solve for that as well 1 9 upon 16 equals to it is 16 1 the 16 plus 9 25 upon 16 equals to under root 25 whole upon under root 16 5 5 the 25 so 5 here 4 4 the 16 so here so we'll break it out it is 1 upon 1 upon 4 so 4 1 the 4 plus 1 5 upon 4 that will be the right answer for this question as well we're getting it uh, the another next new question that is the sixth question of the session what is the square root of what is the square root of 0 0.0009 that we have so yes for that we'll go ahead under root 0 0.0009 equals to 9 upon point we will get 1000 we get under root 9 whole upon under root 10,000 so here that 3 to 3 ka hamara 3 hai and 100 ka 10,000 ka 100 so that is 0 0.03 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead with another question that we talk about the seventh question of the session which is evaluate 175.2976 so here for this solving this method what we have to apply is to we make even numbers of the decimal places and by affixing a zero if necessary now we mark off a period and extra extract the square root as to be shown and that we have to go ahead so yes we'll do with that as well 175.2976 that we have so we'll pair it out okay then after that it is one starting with the one here only the one digit is there so we can see that one cancel it out 75 we had taken it out so then after that we have one plus one is two and then we'll take three so three threes are is your nine and uh, then we have your uh threes are nine and three uh, two the six so 69 we'll cancel it out what we'll get is your 6 and then we'll take it 29 here as well then after that what we'll put we'll put the value here and then we have here that is 3 plus 3 is 6 and 2 and we'll take 2 here so 2 will be multiplied and 2 to the 4 2 6 are 12 3 you have 1 carry 2 to the 4 plus 1 5 so then after that we'll cancel it out we'll get 1 0 and uh, after that uh, we'll be getting is your 5 1 0 and then we'll take as 5 7 6 here as well so one uh, here from 0 here that is 6 here 5 here 7 6 we had taken down it will be 2 6 4 4 and then we'll cancel it out and say 5 7 6 it will be cancel it out here so what we'll get is 13 point 24 so that's it under root 175.2976 will equal to 13.24 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead with another new question and that is another uh, new important question is uh, that is the eighth question you can say that and that is also an important one because this has been asked in your rrb examination paper so here the question is what will come in place of the question marks in each of the following questions here so yes we'll do it one by one and that has been asked in your uh, the uh, you know rrb examination paper so the eighth question the question we have here is under root 32.4 whole upon question mark that the value we have to find out equals to 2 this has been asked in your rrb examination paper so let's go ahead for that as well 32.4 upon this is we let x equals to 2 then 332.4 upon x equals to 4 after that 4x equals to 32.4 
then x equals to 8.1 that we have the answer here now we'll go ahead with another new question that is also been asked in your rrb examination paper under root 86.49 plus under root 5 plus question mark square equals to 12.3 this has been also asked in your rrb examination paper for that let under root 86.49 equals to sorry plus under root 5 plus x square equals to 12.3 then 9 point uh, that is 3 plus under root 5 plus x square equals to 12.3 under root 5 plus x square equals to 12.3 minus 9.3 equals to 3 5 plus x square equals to 9 we we'll have x square equals to 9 minus 5 that is equals to 4 so x equals to under root 4 equals to 2 that we have to talk about it and that will be the right answer for this question as well we'll go ahead further which will talk about the 10th question of the session as well and even though that is also an important one here so on the same cases the 10th question will go ahead which is your other question find the value of find the value of under root 0 0.289 whole upon 0 0.00121 so that we have a question this has been the question which has been asked in your igno examination paper here and for that we'll solve it out as well and for that solution we have here that to be as follows 0 0.289 upon 0 0.00121 equals to under root 0 0.28900 whole upon 0 0.00121 equals to under root 28900 whole upon 121 which is equals to 170 upon 11 that we have as an answer here now we'll go ahead with another new question that is the 11th question of the session and that is also an important one so the question will go ahead and even though we have to find it out and for that uh, is the question we have is the 11th question so if 1 plus x upon 144 equals to 13 upon 12 then find the value of x that we have to find out and for that uh, we have to go ahead as well so on the same cases here that is your important question and uh, which is uh, that uh, we have to talk about it we have this and we have to find out the value let's go ahead for the solution for this as well that we have to talk about it which is under root 1 plus x upon 144 which is equals to 13 upon 12 and that is will give you 1 plus x upon 144 and uh, that is equals to 13 upon 12 square and which is 13 square is 169 and 12 square is 144 that we have 
which is equals to x upon what 44 equals to 169 upon uh, 144 uh, minus 1 so just I write it down here 169 upon 144 minus 1 and take as an LCM x upon 144 into 25 upon 144 so we will get this being cancelled it out we will go reverse it so it uh, will be x equals to uh, that is this is being equals to this will go reverse it out this will be cancelled it out okay so x equals to 25 that will be having as an answer now we'll go ahead with another new question and that is even though which is very important here as well the question we have the 11 is your the 12th question of the session that even though we have to be discussed here and which is if find the value of under root 2 up to the three places of decimal find the value of under root 3 up to three places of decimal let's go ahead find out for this so for that we have here which is we'll be solving it out here or we'll write it on number that is 3.000000 we'll uh, pair it out this is the single one here one ones are because two to the other four root it is more than that so one here that will cancel it out so three may one get two zero two zeros carry out karenge. and that is will take seven here for that that we are not representing here but yes of course you have to know now seven then it is your one eighty nine then we'll give one one then we'll take as zeros then after that it is seven plus uh, seven is fourteen four yeah one carry two plus one three three uh, three four and then we'll take three it will get one zero two nine then whole up one we'll take as that is your two six four three that is seven one zero zero it will be six nine two four we will be giving you under root three equals to one point seven three two here that we'll be giving as an answer here now we'll further move ahead which is the thirteenth question of the session as well So here we go ahead and that is the another new question and that is your 21th question of the session as I told you. So for that the find the smallest number that must be added to 1780 to make it perfect square that we have to find out and for that uh, we will be going ahead and in the which we have to find out so we will do it uh, here only but making a rough column here so the number we have 1780 so here we paid it out so 4 4 uh, here that is as well 4 4 is a 16 17 is 16 here is your 1 then we take as 80 here 4 plus 4 is 8 take as 2 and that is your the another one is 2 2 is a 4 and uh, your 2 8 is a 16 so when it is gone ahead you will get here 16 here so that is that number to be added number to be added equals to that is we have 42 uh, here so that is 43 square minus minus 1780 which is equals to 1849 minus 1780 will get 69 as an answer here now we'll go ahead with another new question and that is the 22th question of the sessions as well the question is if under root 2 equals to 1.4142 find the value of 
अंडर रूट टू अपॉन टू प्लस अंडर रूट टू लेट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट इट एंड लेट्स गो हेड फॉर द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस एज वेल विच इज अंडर रूट टू अपॉन टू प्लस अंडर रूट टू इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट टू अपॉन टू प्लस अंडर रूट टू इन टू टू माइनस अंडर रूट टू वी टेक एज डिफरेंट साइन टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड अप एंड डाउन टू द नोमिनेटर इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो दैट विल बी गेट हेयर टू अंडर रूट टू माइनस टू अपॉन दैट इज बीन अ कैंसिल फोर रूट टू टू द फोर एंड रूट टू रूट टू माइनस टू दैट रूट बी कैंसिल एंड फोर माइनस टू सो टू अंडर रूट टू माइनस वन टू वी हैड टेकन एज कॉमन एंड दैट इज फोर माइनस टू इज ऑफ फर्स्ट टू विल गेट इट दैट इज अंडर रूट टू माइनस वन सो फॉर दैट वन पॉइंट फोर वन फोर टू माइनस वन that is equals to 0.4142 here now we'll go ahead with another new question and that is the 23rd question of the session as well that is if x equals to under root 5 plus under root 3 upon under root 5 minus under root 3 and y equals to under root 5 minus under root 3 upon under root 5 plus under root 3 so here for the find the value of we have to find the value and that is the value we have x square plus y square we have to find the value of x square plus y square so we we'll go ahead x is equal to under root 5 plus under root 3 upon under root 5 minus under root 3 into under root 5 plus because this is minus we take as plus under root 3 upon under root 5 plus under root 3 that is equals to under root a plus b they are under root plus 5 plus under root 3 ka square होल अपॉन फाइव फाइव कट जाएगा थ्री थ्री टू सट जाएंगे तो फाइव माइनस थ्री विल गेट एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वील ओपन इट आउट इज जो फाइव प्लस थ्री प्लस टू अंडर रूट फिफ्टीन होल अपॉन फाइव माइनस थ्री इज योर टू विल गेट फोर अंडर रूट फिफ्टीन फोर प्लस अंडर रूट फिफ्टीन देन फॉर वाई दिस इज फॉर एक्स फोर प्लस अंडर रूट फिफ्टीन फॉर वाई equals to under root 5 minus under root 3 upon under root 5 plus under root 3 multiplied by the different sign this is plus so we'll multiply it by minus sign that is equals to under root 5 minus under root 3 ka square upon 5 minus 3 which is equals to 5 plus 3 minus 2 under root 15 whole upon 2 so we'll get y equals to 4 minus under root 15 this is in minus so while finding it out the value for x square plus y square Which is four plus fifteen under root fifteen ka square plus four minus under root fifteen ka square is equals to two. Then brackets under root four ka square plus under root fifteen ka square that is equals to two into thirty one, which is equals to sixty two. that we will get as an answer here now we will be going ahead further and that is we have to talk about it which is the 24th question of the session and that is even though which is important as well 24th question of the session we talk about it so that is find the cube root 
ऑफ टू सेवन फोर फोर तो भी अभी कोई है टू सेवन सो वे आर दिस इज मैथर दैट टू रिजॉल्व द गिवेन नंबर एज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टर्स एंड टेक द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टर्स choosing one out of three of the same prime factors and resolving to 744 that is as a product of prime factor that we get here is 2744 equals to 2 cube into 7 cube and for that 3 under root 2744 which is equals to 2 into 7 equals to 40 yeah that will be the right answer for this question as well Uh, now we'll go ahead with another one, which is the twenty-fifth question of the session, and that we have by what least number four three two zero be multiplied to obtain the number which is a perfect cube. So here, by what least number four three two zero be multiplied. to obtain a number which is a perfect cube so for that we we'll have to solve it out here so clearly 4 3 2 to 2 cube into 3 cube Into two square into five. So to make it a perfect cube, it must be multiplied by that is two uh, into five square. So that is your five five is twenty five plus two that uh, multiplied to that is your fifty. That we'll get here. Now we'll go ahead with another new question. That is the twenty sixth question of the session here. So that we have. and on the same cases uh, here they will be giving you uh, in the form of uh, words like that has been asked in your bank you so we have to find out 53824 goes to the question mark this we have to find out and this is being asked in your bank of uh, your question paper as well that is also an important one for that they had given you the options for this as well and uh, that is the options we have 202 232 and 242 and 332 so for that we have to talk about it and even though we have to find out for the answer as well so yes we'll go ahead and uh, so finding it out the solution for this so we'll do it for the number we have is 53824 so 2 to the support take as 2 so 2 plus 2 is your 4 we'll take again 3 minusing it out here so that is your 1 and then we'll take as 38 as common So here we go ahead with thirteenth question of the mm -hmm. session. So here we have this. The thirteenth question is, if root three equals to one point seven three two, find the value of under root one ninety two minus one by two under root forty eight minus under root seventy five to the correct three places of decimal. We have to find out the three places of decimal here. So with the same case, this has been asked in your SSC examination paper, and that is also an important paper respect to us competition-wise. 
so here we go ahead and that will find out for the solution for this as well and that is also an important one so with that the same concept 192 minus 1 by 2 under root 48 minus under root 75 here on the same cases where we have under root 64 into 3 minus uh, that is equal minus 1 by 2 under root 16 into 3 minus under root 25 into 3 we had bracketed down each so here this is 64 ka that is your 8 and this is under root 3 minus 1 by 2 and that is your 16 ka 4 we take out and under root 3 then again minus by 25 ka 5 we take it out and under root 3 we have here so what we'll get is uh, in the same cases uh, 2 ones are 2 that is being divided 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 and then of course uh, for that we'll get 3 under root 3 minus 2 under root 3 and that we have in the same cases here 8 minus 5 so we'll get 3 that is under root 3 so that will be performed here 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so 2 under root 3 when we minus it out 3 minus 2 is 1 so that is under root 3 we'll get as an answer and that is the value of 1.732 that is the value of under root 3 here now we'll go ahead with another new question that we have to talk about it which is your 14th question of the session as well and the 14th question of the session is to evaluate here which is to evaluate uh, the question here evaluate that we have so with the yes. same cases to evaluate here that is we have that is 9.5 into 0.0085 into 15.9 so here for that uh, which is we have upon and that is your 0.0017 into 1.9 into 0 0.021 here that we have as an answer on the same cases we will be going ahead for that and to be even the sort it out so we, we have to continue with that since now since the sum of the decimal places in the numerator and denominator under the radical signs is the same so we remove the decimals here and for that given expression we have here which is your will uh, remove it so it will be 95 into 85 into 18900 upon that is 70 into 19 into 21 so when we will cancel it out further we will get the root 5 into 5 into 900 so we will get 5 into here we take it out 5 and 900 ka hota hai 3 uh, that is 30 so 5 35 is a 15 so that will get is your answer is your 150 will be the right answer for this question as well we'll take as the another question that is your the 15th question of the sessions as well and that is to simplify here so simplify that is your 12.1 ka square minus 8.1 ka square plus 0.25 ka square that we have and then plus 0.25 and 19.95 here this is being asked in your CBI examination paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise so we'll go ahead further and that we talk about it so here which is under root 12.1 square plus 8.1 12.1 minus 8.1 whole upon 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus 19.95 equals to under root 20.2 into 4 upon 0 0.25 into 20.2 which is equals to 4 upon 0 0.25 so it is equals to 400 upon 25 so that is under root 16 and uh, which uh, we have that is equals to 4 
so that four will be the right answer for this question as well and even though this has been asked in your CBI examination paper that is also an important one here now we will be going ahead with the 16th question of the session as well and that we have here on the same cases uh, if x equals to 1 plus under root 2 and y equals to 1 minus under root 2 find the value of x square plus y square that we have to find out if x equals to 1 plus under root 2 and y equals to 1 minus under root 2 find the value of x square plus y square that is we have so the value x square plus y square 1 plus under root 2 square plus 1 minus under 2 square equals to that is equals to 2 into 3 3 to the 6 3 to the 6 here that will be having as an answer here Seventeenth question of the session is here the question we have is to evaluate under root 0.9 up to three places of decimal which is this has been the important question this has been asked in your RRB examination paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise so we'll solve that for as well the number we have is your zero point nine zero nine zero 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 so we just paid it out as well so for that it will take nine first because zero is there only so 81 will take it nine 81 will get here as well nine they'll take a zero then we have here as your nine nine eighteen so this is eighteen and then we have four for that and we'll take point uh, then after four which is your 736 and hold up one we have 1888 then we have here it is 164 16400 that we have and the same cases 16400 will take us for the eight times and that is 15104 so we we'll get under root of 0 0.9 uh, equals to 0 0.948 that will be the right answer for this question as well so here this has been asking your railway examination paper so that is as i told you that is uh, more important uh, that when you are going to solve it out but yes of course when you are going to solve it out you have to see towards it that which type of question it is we will be having another question that is your 18th question of the sessions as well and that is if under root 15 equals to 3.88 find the value of under root 553 that we have so for that we will find it out under root 553 equals to under root 5 into 3 upon 3 into 3 which is equals to under root 15 upon 3 equals to 3.88 upon 3 and that is answer we will get 1.2933 which is equals to 1.293 bar here that will be the right answer for this question as well I will go ahead with the 19th question of the session and that even though we have to discuss here that is also an important one here let's go ahead with that so 19th question of the session we will talk about it we will find the least square number which is exactly divisible by 10 12 15 and 18 so yeah that we have to find out find the 
least square number which is exactly divisible by 10 12 15 and 18 that we have to talk about it for that we'll go ahead for the solution for this as well the lcm of 10 12 15 18 equals to 180 so now 180 equals to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 so that will represent it as the power that is your 2 power 2 3 power 2 and into 5 here yeah, that can be represented to make it a perfect square it must be multiplied by 5 to it so required number is equals to 2 square and 2 3 square into 5 square to make a perfect square and that is your 900 that will be the right answer for this question as well we'll talk about the 20th question of the sessions as well the question is find the greatest number of five digit which is perfect square here so let's go ahead to find out as well find the greatest number of five digits which is perfect square this has been asked in your rrb examination paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise here yeah? so on the same cases we'll go ahead for the solution for this as well and that is the greatest number of five digit number we'll talk about it so that is the greatest number of five digit is nine 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 and nine so for that we have nine 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 and nine pair it out then we take as three nine so here we take, take as nine as well so here that is three three is a nine then we take as uh, here that is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 so we we'll take as 1 that is your 61 then it is you can seal it out 1 plus 1 is 2 so 62 we take 6 so we'll get here for first of all we'll get 3 and we'll take as 9 9 so we'll take as 6 3 7 5 6 that is your here so here the required number equals to nine 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 minus one four three which is equals to nine nine eight five six that we have as an answer. Now we'll go ahead with another question that is your the twenty a one th question of the session that is also an important one here. So for that it is find the smallest number that must be added to 1780 to make it a perfect square that we have to talk about it. So find the
so where we go ahead and as i told you so this is your uh, then we take as 3 this is your 129 so here we get 9 we'll take as 2 4 then we have 2 which is 9 2 4 here it is your 4 uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 so 4 6 we we'll take as 2 as i told you we'll cancel it out so we'll get under root 5 3 8 2 4 equals to 2 3 2 here we'll talk about the another new question which is your the 27th question of the sessions as well the question we have the square root of you have to find out uh, the square root of 6 4 0 0 9 and that has been asked in your RRB examination paper this has been asked in your bank peer question paper that is also an important one the options for this we have 2 4 uh, 2 5 3 3 47 3 63 and 803 so for that we have to talk about it let's find it out for the solution for this as well um, which is to be as follows so here that is write down number 64009 so here this is so 2 2 2 is a 4 we we'll get 2 then 14 we take it out then we take here that is this a 2 so there is a 4 then 5 we take it so here it is 5 2 25 whole upon we will get one this is we take as five and then we have zero nine we take it out after that this is five plus five ten zero and have one carry four plus the one that is five so this is five zero two five one five zero nine that is cancel it out four five three so we'll get the value here that is your under root six four zero zero five three is equals to 253 and that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll move ahead with another new question and that we have to talk about it and um, which is the another new question is uh, somewhat uh, a little bit atypical we can say that and um, that is the value of which is 28 question of the session the value of we have to find out that is for under root 10 plus under root 25 plus under root 108 plus under root 154 plus under root 225 here that we have this has been the question which has been asked in SSC examination paper that is also reported for us and the options for this we have here is 4, 6, 8 and 10 so let's go ahead to find out for this as well and which is to be as follows as you can see the question we we'll do it 10 plus under root 1 under root 25 plus 108 plus so 154 plus 15 will get 169 so we'll open it out this is for 10 plus under root 25 plus 108 and then 169 root to pull in it, so that will be 13. 13 is a 169 so we will open one root here then again 10 plus under root 25 plus and 108 plus 13 is your 121 then we will have 10 plus under root 25 121 is plus 11 then again we'll get 10 plus and 25 plus uh, 11 that is your 38 sorry 36 okay so we'll get under root 10 then we have plus uh, the 36 we know very well that is your plus 6 will get 10 plus 6 is 16 under root 16 and that is the square root of 4 so how we have to find out and this has been the important question because this has been asked in your SSC examination paper as well now we'll move ahead with another and the last question of the session as well 
and that is we have and uh, it is your 29th question of the session as you can see okay so the 29th question you have to evaluate the question is under root 41 minus under root 21 plus under root 19 minus under root 9 that we have this has been the important question because this has been asked in your CBI examination paper that is also an important one options for this we have 3 5 6 64 as well so that we have here we'll get so for that so here 41 minus under root 21 my plus under root 19 minus 3 that is equals to under root 41 minus under root 21 mine plus under root that's 90 minus 3 16 that we have so we have 41 minus under root 21 plus 4 21 plus 4 is you know very well 25 41 minus under root 25 so here 41 minus and 5 will happen uh, in this 36 and 36 square root is of 6 so that answer will get is 6 here and that will be the right answer for this question as well so here we will continue with the next coming class that we have to cover up that from 30th question we will start discussing about it and first of all it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through with the subscribe button please like share and subscribe to our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well we post uh, ending it up first of all it's a huge request that you have to go ahead and on the same basis we had dealing with uh, chemistry of class 12 of chemistry and that uh, we had dealing with that is important for the academy as well the competition as well after that we talk about we had completed recently the sociology subject and we are dealing with the software engineering in the next coming class will end up with that as well because where we had completed unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 and unit 5 we have completed and we have to complete some of the question papers of software engineering of the last 15 years so that when will end up with the subject as well after that uh, we are dealing with a reasoning here where we had completed the verbal reasoning which is general mental ability and the logic reasoning as well and uh, we are uh, dealing uh, with a non-verbal reasoning we are series we had um, then done your thousand questions analogy and uh, your, uh, we had done uh, your that is analogy then classification analytical reason uh, mirror image water image and then after that uh, we had done you know after the mirror image water image we have we will start with the embedded figure as well so first of all now we in terms of quantitative aptitude this has been also divided into the two sections that we have is that first section we have arithmetical ability where we have to cover up the operations on numbers scf and lcm of numbers decimal fraction we had completed simplification we had completed and as you can see square root and cube root we had started with and even though we had done your 29 question in this class only after that we'll cover up the averages problems on numbers problems on ages thirds and indices percentage profit loss ratio and proportion partnership chain rule time and work five and system time and distance problems on trains and as well as uh, boards and streams allegations on mixtures simple interest compound interest logarithms area volume and surface area races and games of skills calendar clocks stocks and shares permutations and combinations probability through discount bank of discount height and distance argman of series as well and section two we have to cover up the data interpretation where that is your tabulation bar graphs pie charts and line graphs as well so here we'll end up with and first of all it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well thank you hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion in the comment box thank you